Hey guys, this is a video on how to properly inflate and deflate your tires, whether you're on the trail or stuck on the side of the road. Some things you'll need is a pressure gauge, whether it has that built into it, but that's not as accurate. A quick connect for your compressor. And then to be extra accurate, a pressure gauge. Let's jump right into it. First thing you'll need to check is open your driver and side door and you will look on the sticker right here and it'll tell you your front tires what size they are you know your weight limit speed limit and what you should inflate your tires to in this case the spare is 37 which is the same size all, every single tire is the same size all around so the rear should be inflated to 37 psi and the front should be inflated to 37 psi and that's cold tire pressure inflation. Make sure you always inflate your tires when they're cold, because if it's warm, you will get a different reading and your tires will be off balanced, because as soon as they cool down, they'll deflate. So right now the car has not been driven for the entire day. And yeah, we'll jump right into it. You will take off the, the tire pressure stem cap off your vehicle, place that aside, make sure you don't lose that, because that is very important to make sure your, if your valve is leaking, that you don't lose air. So always be careful with this, because this can always jump back and hit you right in the face. I was lucky. So let's check the current tire pressure. It is 35 psi. We'll deflate it a bit more just so we can show you guys how to do it. And when off roading, the recommended tire pressure for these cars are 30 psi. It makes the tread a lot wider and therefore more grip. So right now, the tires are at. 34 psi and we need to fill them up to 37 cold always fill up at little increments so you don't go over 35 psi if you go over it's not going to be too bad but you don't want to go too over right now we are at 36.5 maybe do 37.5 just in case you know there's a little leak and when you take it off you always lose some air Let's check. Thirty-seven. And then once you're done, since you place the valve cap aside, you place it back on the stem. Make sure not to over tighten it because then you'll strip it. And yeah, that's how to properly fill a tire.